Hey guys, what's going on? Spipperix here, back for another LEGO video, and today we are finally going to be opening these fake LEGO sets that I ordered. So if you guys are not already aware, about four months ago I posted a video titled The Top 25 Most Ridiculous LEGO Fakes, and in there I said if we were to reach 5,000 likes, I would buy one of them that we looked at in the video. Well, you guys absolutely smashed the like goal. We got over 10,000, so I bought two of them. There's one back here. It's, it's really big package, actually. I was surprised how big the package is. And then this one right here. The one in the back you guys may have known if you guys have been paying attention. This one in the front, though, haven't shown anyone. We'll be opening up both of them in this video. Keep in mind that I ordered these fakes specifically for this video for entertainment purposes only. I chose two of the craziest fakes that I could find and I ordered them and I don't recommend that you go out and do the same. I don't recommend you go out and just buy knockoff Lego because although it is cheaper it also comes with a lot of disadvantages you need to be aware of such as potentially dishonest sellers, terrible quality control at some times, and extremely long shipping times among others. Speaking of which, for these two orders, this one in particular came in two months. You'll see that it went through China Post and then came to the U.S. and went through USPS to get to my house. And then we have this second one here, the really large pack. I'm really excited to open up this one. This one ended up taking four months to get to my house, which is pretty ridiculous. I think this one just came on a big, like, boat, right? It didn't take the airplane, so it went a lot slower. All right, here we are. We're going to open it up here. I've cracked it open the side so we can get into it easier and uh, I, I was worried whenever I got this because it's basically flat. You know what I ordered? The box. There should be a box in here but check it out it's flat. So in order to save on shipping this knockoff company decided that even though I ordered the box I paid extra money so I get the box. I mean I guess they did send me the box didn't they? Uh, a, a flat box. And then let's check out the pieces inside. Let's grab those out. Here they are. I got the Lloyd buildable figure. So we'll see how that is. At least we have instructions in here, which is a good sign. I was really worried there weren't going to be instructions or something weird. All right. Well, let's see what we can do. All right, update, I have completed the 3D box. It is no longer just a flat piece of cardboard, but rather a three-dimensional box for once. Very nice. It is from my favorite LEGO theme, Ninja Thunder Swordsman. Ah, yeah. It has 90-plus pieces, so, I mean, it could have 93, 96. I guess they couldn't be bothered to count exactly how many pieces are in the set. That, that's kind of weird, but anyways... It's got the Skybound logo on the top, a lot of creases on the box. That's not me, that's how it was shipped to me. On the back, we can see some of the other models and a whole lot of dents. A lot of damage on this thing. Jeez, <laughs> I guess that's what happens whenever you ship cardboard that shouldn't be bent, but will get bent in a bubble mailer. Doesn't work out so well. But nonetheless, let's see what this looks like when we build it up. <laughs> wow, look at this guy. I mean, other than his semi-derpy looking face, he looks like a total boss. And I have to say, I'm kind of impressed, not gonna lie. I don't think I've ever seen Lloyd carry a mace before, so that's an interesting weapon choice. But I'm actually kind of happy with it, because there's a cool play feature which I'll show you in just a little bit. Now, where do I start? I guess maybe whenever I was building this set, I'll start at the very beginning. Whenever I opened up this, uh, the parts pack, I was actually surprised to see that Lloyd's uh, face mask, or ninja wrap I should say, was in a separate baggie. So I thought, oh, it's, you know, it's protected. But then I look at it a little bit closer and there's uh, like a bunch of paint mistakes on it and little chips out of the green on the very front, which that made me a little bit disappointed. But nonetheless, what can you do? It's totally fine. The model itself actually has a lot of posability. It has a lot of ball and socket joints. Uh, clearly, they got inspiration from the official LEGO Star Wars buildable figures. And then, you know, they kind of translated that over into Ninjago and then created the Ninja. Now, I bought this fake because of the reason that this isn't just a blatant copy of an existing Lego set. You know, they took the idea, they basically stole the idea from Lego Star Wars, the official sets, but then at least they transformed it into, you know, something that Lego doesn't make. Lego has never made buildable figures for Lego Ninjago, so pretty interesting. So this guy comes equipped with two different weapons. He's got some sort of like spinning blade on his left arm, 
in which that's actually pretty, I'd, I'd say it works really well actually. Those little spikes are pretty loose though in those pieces and they'll kind of fly off if you spin it too fast, which I thought was kind of ironic because that's what you're supposed to do with it. The other arm, he's carrying a super large mace. It's got like a semi-transparent chain attached to it. I think it actually looks pretty cool and it's got a cool play feature which on the back of this buildable figure, you can turn this little knob and then it'll cause Lloyd to move his hand or his arm up and down so you can kind of swing the mace, which I think is quite cool. Now there is a major design flaw here in which the shoulder pads on this buildable figure don't allow him to actually move his arm all the way up and down. And so I found that just taking, uh, taking off the shoulder pads is better just so you can actually you know use the full feature of the swinging arm. At least that's what I've found. Now compared to the other fake that I bought that will open up in just a little bit, this one I think is very good. And I bought the second one because it's very weird and maybe not so good, so stay tuned for that. Something else that I want to point out that was pretty frustrating actually was the cloth piece that goes over this buildable figure because this knockoff company really didn't care enough to make sure that it would stay flat, just like the box, right? They didn't really care that much. So they kind of just threw it in there. And so as you can see from this picture, whenever you take it out of the parts pack, it's really just creased everywhere. It's not flat whatsoever. And I actually had it sitting underneath a bunch of like heavy books overnight just so I could flatten it out. And it worked pretty good except for one big crease along the uh, very bottom of you can see there. Interestingly enough, I think my favorite piece of this knockoff set is the chest plate for this buildable figure, which unfortunately gets covered up a lot by the cloth you put over top. But here's an image of it without the cloth over it, and it's got some really good detailing on there. I really like that piece. Now the face print is where this looks absolutely nothing like Lloyd. Oh yeah, and uh, you can take off the ninja mask and it looks like this. All right, so quick update, something crazy just happened as I was editing this video. So I went back to see how much I paid for this set because I was curious and it was four months ago, right? So I go back and apparently this seller has been banned on the site in which I bought from them. I don't know why they got banned. I can't make this stuff up, it's ridiculous. But anyways, now on their banner, it just tells you to go to this kind of like sketchy URL, which I'm definitely not going to, or go to their Facebook page. I don't even know, it's just ridiculous. So I wanted to share. Well, that Lloyd buildable figure was quite interesting to say the least. But let's move on here to the second pack of fakes. Now, these I would consider to be more on like the weird and funky side. And you'll you'll know what I mean whenever I, we open it up. But before we do, just a reminder, uh, be sure to leave a like on this video if you guys are enjoying so far. Let's try and reach that 7,000 like goal. All right, I'll also read you the title of the listing in which I bought these from so you can maybe make a prediction of what's inside. Here it is. Big Collection Ninja Building Block Action Figures Compatible Ninjago Ing Lee's Bricks Set for Gift Toys. I mean, what a great title, right? Amazing. Tells you exactly what's in here, especially since there are no ninjas in here. Spoiler alert, even though it says it in the title. So, anyways, let's go ahead and open this one up and see what's inside. All right, opening up this second pack here, we have a whole bunch of minifigures. But these are not any old typical fake minifigures. They're some really funky colors. So basically each of these packs comes with two knockoff minifigures. One Skulkin, as you can see here, and then one very weirdly colored Pyro Viper. This one is green. There are some other ones like this one that are white and translucent blue. There's some really weird snake minifigures in here, or pyro vipers, which is why I bought this lot. The skeletons, not so much. They're just kind of regular knockoffs of the official uh, Lego skeletons. But these pyro vipers, oh man, there are some weird colored ones. Look at this one. Almost looks like a hypnobri sort of color from the serpentine. Very interesting. But anyways, I'm going to open these up so we can take a look at them a little bit closer. This Pyro Viper looks like a Sphera who has changed colors as well as grown a tail. Oh, but it's a really funky tail. I'm not sure how it bent like this in the bag, but whenever I took it out of the packaging, that's what it looked like. And that's compared to this other one that also came. This is also a fake. Yeah, they're definitely different. This one here, though, this guy reminds me of a Pythor plus a Char plus actually a Scales. 
if you look at the torso print, this is a real Scales minifigure, an official minifigure, and then this is the fake. Look at the torso and the snake tail, basically identical print. Here are two green Pyro Vipers. This guy's got a little gem that he's holding. I think these are maybe some of my favorites that come in this fake knockoff set. I like the green colors on them. They look kind of cool. Here's a golden Pyro Viper minifigure. And then one that's like navy and lime. It's a very weird color. I don't know, it kind of works. They're kind of nifty. Now originally I thought that this would be by far my favorite minifigure in this fake set. However, if you look on the back here, what is that? That's disgusting. What is that? And it's, it's under here too. And so immediately I thought, well, one of the workers like spilled coffee or something on it and then still decided to package it up. I'm like, that's disgusting. But I investigated it a little bit further and it's actually a burn mark. So this is bad quality control. So the mold and the plastic was too hot and it basically burned. So yeah, that's why it's brown. There's also this guy here that looks a lot like Char, except he can't really figure out what color combination he wants. He's got purple and black down here, but then the rest of this minifigure is black and red. But dang, look at that. That looks pretty menacing, that's for sure. Also, one thing, these fakes are hollow all the way through the bottom of the tail, as opposed to a real serpentine minifigure from Lego is not. So, fake, real. As for the Skullkin, these five are pretty much just rip-offs of Lego Skullkin minifigures. Oh, but wait till you see the other three. This is a knockoff of Whiplash, except he doesn't have a mouth. There is no printing for his mouth whatsoever. Now, this poor skeleton minifigure only has one arm. I don't know why they only included one. I guess that was just an error on their part. But he also has this Jester hat, and if you try and put it on, it literally pops off every single time. If I try and push it on, it literally just springs off like it's got springs in his jester hat. So I mean, I guess if he wants to be in a circus, his hat's doing a pretty good job. And lastly, there's this guy. I don't know what that face print is. I think it may be just like an original face print that the fake knockoff company actually created themselves. But it's kind of funny if you take off the hat because it looks like it's printed way too far down on the head. Look at it. That's hilarious. Also, this guy is not only missing an arm, but also a leg. Yeah, I don't know how they miss so many pieces, but apparently, I don't know, this guy's missing two pieces. Now that's going to conclude today's video and review of these two knockoff Lego sets. If you guys want to see more videos, check out the videos on screen right now and subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Let's try and reach 7,000 likes. I'm Spipricks. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.